Hey YouTube, it's Annabelle. So today I'm doing videos on some nursing topics that I got some questions on. Um, so I just wanted to do another video. This video is going to be on decreasing breast milk supply um, and my experience with it. Um, again, my disclosure on all of these videos is make sure you are talking to your doctor, talk to nurses, and especially if you have a lactation consultant available to you, please use that resource for any questions um, and just make sure you do your research and do what's right for you. Okay, so um, with my daughter, there came a time where I wanted to stop um, nursing. Right now, I am we are breastfeeding my son and um, we are not looking to stop anytime soon. Our goal is to make it to a year um, with him. We made it to about 10 months with our daughter, so my goal this time around is to make it to a year. Um, however, when I was breastfeeding my daughter, there was a time where we did want to stop or maybe cut back. Um, and my answer for um, both of those, whether you're cutting back or you want to stop, is the same. Um, now, this is for if you are exclusively pumping. Um, I did not exclusively nurse and then need to cut back or stop. So this is going to be um, how to decrease um, your milk supply if you are exclusively pumping. Okay, so um, what we did with my daughter when we wanted to stop is we took, and this is just what we chose, what worked best for us, is every week we um, took out a pumping session. Um, and you can also decrease the time that you are pumping and decrease the um, number of times that you are pumping um, in a 24 hour period. So with my daughter, the first one that we took out, like the pumping session that we took out, was my pumping session that was in the middle of the night. That way I got some sleep. So that's the first one that we took out. Um, and we slowly decreased, again, the amount of time that I pumped and the number of times that I pumped during the day until we were at zero. Um, so every week we took out a pumping session and we reduced the amount of time that I was pumping. Now with decreasing your milk supply, you have to be careful because this is when, um, if you are not getting everything out of your breasts, um, you might be more likely to get plugged ducts or mastitis or have some issues. Um, so if you start to develop those things, make sure that um, you are getting everything out of your breasts to avoid um, that problem. But again, um, the best way that we have found um, to decrease your milk supply is those two things. Decrease the amount of time that you pump and also decrease the length of time that you are pumping. Um, but anyways, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, otherwise, I will see you for my next video. Bye guys.